of the smoke. Dominate choke. My bro. What's good, my nieces and nephews of Homie Gang? <laughs> Yo, Uncle is back again with another video today. And look, 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 look. In today's video, I, I got the Meta 6 7 lockdown build for y'all on NBA 2K25. All right. You don't really see too many people using six seven lockdown builds this year, but you know what I'm saying? That's just because the six fours is like OP for stage. You feel me? For stage, the six four lockdown builds are OP. But if you're playing park, I would say go six six or six seven. Six seven if you want to get more boards. If you want to get more boards, you want to go six seven. But six sixes, bro, the six six lockdown, bro. It just gets better attributes. It just gets better attributes. But I know some of y'all like to be tall. And tall lockdown builds, I I get it. They're better. Just like the centers this year. The, I know there's poppers that hate being 6'7". They, they feel like that's not a center. That's a lockdown build. And they want to be 6'8". But this 6'7 lockdown build is going to be able to keep up with poppers. Because almost every popper on this game is 6'7". Uh, because poppers at 6'8". Six, 6'8 eight. Six, eight doesn't get shit attributes. 6'8 just gets shit attributes. If I'm being honest, 6'8 just gets shit, shit attributes. Then nerf the 6'8s to the ground when it comes to uh, getting attributes. But this 6-7 lockdown build, it's a very, very nice lockdown build. Um, if you want to hear me, like on the video, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment, play your mama, subscribe if you're new. Do that for young, please. Let's get into how to make this lockdown build right now. All right, y'all, we are in the builder. We're in the builder. I always go left-handed with all my shooting builds, and then I with the jersey number, I always go jersey number two because God is first, everything else is second in my life. All right, so you want you can go shooting guard or small forward, either one. Um, I'm just gonna go stick with the shooting guard position. Shooting guard, um, the weight 212 pounds, 212 pounds with a 7-1 to wingspan. You could go 7-3, but you want to shoot pretty well. And that set shot specialist, especially on a lockdown, helps you shoot very, very well. Okay, that 7-2, that 7-3 wingspan is nice, but you, 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 the shooting this year is really inconsistent. So you want to have and when you have set shot uh specialist on uh elise gold you 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 shoot very very well compared to just having it on silver so we go with an 89 midi to get that set shot specialist on gold uh, if you want to you can badge elevate it with your tier one badge elevator you can get it on hall of fame sorry i got stick drift that's when my controller just ran up like that but you can't get it hall of fame if you uh uh use your tier one badge uh your badge your tier one badge elevator and elevate it up one um for our three-point shot we went with a 78 78 uh all, all it really matters when it comes to three point is if you have a high midi just like last year and if you have the badges you have set shot specialist you're going to be able to get a lot of the jump shot best jump shots in the game uh jalen tyson base is probably the best base to use jalen tyson sadiq bay oscar robertson 70 30 uh four to four speeds i use uh push um that's probably the best jump shot to use with this build right here very very nice i love the jalen tyson uh base i low-key wish i could get on my six four and under guard and test it out because it really smooth for me but you know fit me it is what it is i'm gonna use that cam thomas base on our six four and unders until we get patty okay now for the vertical we just went with a 60 overall vert 60 overall vert um strength 85 strength to get that uh immovable enforcer on gold y'all are gonna see her here when i up my perimeter all right immovable on gold and we're gonna have box out beast on silver <clears throat> badges like that all right those those are gonna help us immovable kind with your on ball menace you're gonna help you get super super bumpy especially with being on bigger builds are just naturally bumpier so like you being on a six seven you're going to be naturally bumpier than a six 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 five or anything or six four so that a move ball on gold is going to feel like basically like a hall of fame move on a six four basically all right uh we went with an 86 overall agility 86 overall agility gets a shifty shooter slippery off ball and it's going to tie into our pick dodger and on ball menace which we will have legend when we get our first cap breakers i've been slacking like i'm 60 percent to ss3 
when I hit SS3, bro, my builds are gonna be crazy. Almost everybody's hit SS3 right now. I feel like the the the, the Squidward, the SpongeBob meme, where Squidward's looking out the window at Patrick and uh, SpongeBob with their hands raised while he's inside. I really feel like that. But we're gonna go 90 speed. I really feel like 90 speed separates a lot. I feel like 89 speed to 90 speed, there's a big difference. Feel me? For some reason, when I get on, when I have a 90 speed, I feel like I can turn around and move way faster. So I would say go with 90 speed as a lockdown. You want to be uh one of the fastest on the court. You're not going to be obviously faster than the guard, but you're going to want to be able to keep up with the guards. And that 90 speed helps you turn around, move left, and on tied with the agility. Uh, agility is moving left, right, laterally with tied with your perimeter because we're going to have a 90. Uh, we went with a 94 prim. And we're going to add our first cap breaker, uh, uh, the plus five, our first plus five cap breaker onto our prim. So we're going to have 99 prim, all all legend um, uh, defensive badges. So you want to do that right there. OK, and you're going to want to uh, have high agility, the high speed to keep up. All right. Make a uh, turn around, make switches with your uh, with your uh, center, stuff like that. All right, and then we went with a 95, uh, 96 steel, Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame interceptor, which is really well enough because steel is not as OP as it was previous years. But um, when you get your second cap breakers, you can add your plus four, oh wait, no, plus three onto your steel, and it's going to get you that 99 steel. So when you get vet two, you can get 99 prim and 90. When you get a starter three, which is not hard to get, everybody in this game should get starter three if you play just a little bit a day. You can get 99 perimeter and then when you get uh vet two i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's vet two then you get put plus uh put plus three on your steel because that's when you get your second uh plus five cap breakers but three on steel so you have 99 steel and add the extra two to your three point shot so you have an 80 overall three pointer so you can knock down a little bit better but the 83 pointer compared to 78 it's not going to be too much of a difference all right, and then we went with a 61 overall uh, interior D. Look at my stick drift, bro. It's making my controller go up. I, I need a new controller, but I'm, I, I need more VC. I want to make three more builds, and I'm done for the year, bro. And then I'll have 10 builds, and now I'm done. I'm for real done. But uh, go with 61 over interior because we're going to go with a 74 overall block. 74 overall block in this high flying denier paint patroller on bronze. Uh, very, very important badges. Uh, just to tie into if we're playing park with this build, you know, a lot of people rim running park where you're going to go against you might go against the ISO demon and paint patroller for high flying denier on bronze really, really has a is a big difference compared to no badge at all. Helps you get them stops, help you get them blocks, help you be a, 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 a menace in the paint and going against these insides too. You're your six Evan, you have paint patroller high flying denier, so you're going to get a better contest regardless. Even if you had your interior any higher, interior is low-key a scam this year. The only thing I would say that really it just matters is your paint patroller, whatever, what you have it. You know what I'm saying? And we, we could have got a silver, but we'd have to sacrifice somewhere. All right. And then we went with an 80 overall rebound just so we can get rebound chase on uh, silver. Really, offensive rebound is more important this year than defensive rebound, but we wanted them badges. We wanted them silver badges and we can't get silver uh, rebound chaser with um, with uh, this build because it only gets a 70. It only maxes out at a 78 overall offensive rebound. If we could get that 80 overall offensive rebound, we'd get it because re offensive rebound is even cheaper and it's even better. It's better than defensive rebound because especially as a lockdown, the most uh, the only time you're really going to go for the rebound is when you're on the uh, when you're on defense. <laughs> no, 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 when you're um when you're on offense because you're going to come out the corner and try to if your center doesn't get bored because he's boxed out you're going to get the offensive rebound that's why offensive rebound is really important for lockdowns but 60 is going to do well because the, the the rebound chaser is going to kick in the silver rebound chaser uh com compared to whereas the bronze wouldn't kick in and rebound chaser test about uh uk labs add plus nine to your rebound all right so it's really like you have a you have a 69 offensive rebound 89 defensive rebound all right um What's it called? Then our standing dunk, we want a 65 overall standing dunk, get you all the safest standing dunks in the game. Um, standing dunk is not as OP as uh, last year, but it's still good. Because if you're going, if you're playing stage, you're going to go against a lot of five nines and guards in general, just be six, two and under. You're going to be able to stand and dunk them uh, fairly easy if they're coming out the corner. <laughs> I mean, if they're just guarding you in the corner, you're just going to backdoor them, stand and dunk them. But um, I really feel like they nerfed driving dunk and, and finishing in general to the ground because how how bad it was last year with the 
with the standing dunks and uh, the, the the meter dunks. They they nerf driving to the ground, finishing it as a hole to the ground. And then pass accuracy, y'all know me, y'all. But when it comes to lockdown builds and center builds, I just go with the 55 for the diamond on bronze. All right, 55 for the diamond on bronze is nice. You could go 65, like sacrifice somewhere if you want to and go 65 to get the... um. <clears throat> To get a break starter with a 65 pass accuracy, but really, I just feel like this is fine right here. I like it like here. I mean, but you could do this if you want to do this, you could do this right here. And I think you can get 65. You could do this right here and get 65. You could do this, literally do this right here and get 65. <clears throat> and then let me see if I up this. Huh? No, I up this. Let me see my cap breaker. My cap breaker would be 94, 99. Then if you got your literally if you got your second cap breaker, you could throw a plus four right here. Like you could do the build right like this. Because glove still on, on, on gold is still nice compared to compared to Hall of Fame. You could do this right here. <clears throat> up your rebounding. Offensive rebound if you wanted to. Or you could up your shooting if you wanted to. Up your shooting one if you wanted to. You see we get that seven. We can't. Up your shooting one if you wanted to. And up your your uh your rebound if you wanted to as well you could do this right here this is another good version right here if you're just playing the long game and want to play your cap breakers do this right here because you still got good pass act you still got uh the steel is not a, a 96 but when you get that second cap breaker at vet two you add that on here you add plus four on here and add one more onto your three point and then you you have the 99 three pointer I mean, 83 pointer. You still got good pass act, and you got to Yeah, I would, I would honestly do it like this. Compared to the first version, I would do this right this because I'm playing the long game. I know I'm about to hit. I'm about to hit starter three. I'm I'm literally 40% uh, away, and then I'm, I know I'm gonna hit vet two because I play this game for a living. You feel me? So this is the long game right here. But if you're not gonna play the long game, just go to the first version I showed you with the the 90 96. Okay. Appreciate love every single one of y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like the video. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment leave mama. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, the best 6-7. Meta 6-7 lockdown build on NBA 2K25. Two way catch and shoot threat. Hear me? Be your boy. Everybody's favorite. Uncle on YouTube. Uncle HK. I'm out.